on the go but need to hook up with home base, work with multiple programs battling for space on your display, or just want to relax at home with an extra screen? Let's show you how to maximize your screen by connecting monitors to your laptop. We've got you hooked up. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Rick, the host in this episode of MSI Procast. Using dual monitors is pretty simple for PCs, but for our laptop, it's actually not that easy. Today, we'll give you some tips and tricks on how to connect your laptop to two monitors and help you increase your real estate quickly. Before we start, be sure to check if your graphics card supports multiple monitors. You can check it on the official website for the specifications. So first of all, you'll need to check the ports on your laptop to determine which type of cables you need. Most laptops come with HDMI out as standard, and additionally, USB Type-C, DisplayPort, or Mini DisplayPort. As more electronics switch to USB Type-C ports, some of them support video output through Thunderbolt. It's usually marked with a little lightning bolt. Check the specifications of your laptop to see if it's supported. Once you've confirmed your ports and cables, you're good to go for the next step, connecting the monitor. Here we'll be using MSI's GS75 Stealth 8SG, which comes with one HDMI out and a Thunderbolt USB-C port equipped with Intel Core i7 processor and an RTX 2080 8GB GDDR6 video card. For the monitor, we'll be using MSI's Optics MAG 271 CQR display, a 27-inch monitor with QHD 1440p resolution. Also, it features 144Hz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time, and a viewing angle of 178 degrees. On the back, they each have one DisplayPort and two HDMI inputs. By the way, DisplayPort and HDMI carry video differently but the end result has identical quality with DisplayPort having a slightly higher max data capability. So to connect dual monitors to this laptop, we can use a USB-C to DisplayPort cable or a USB-C to HDMI adapter, which is what we have here, pretty small. And with just one cable, it also hooks up extra USB devices. We suggest USB-C 4K 60Hz adapters. They're new and better future-proofed and will support our 1440p resolution. Okay, so the first monitor is simple. We'll notice the shape and line up the HDMI connector and plug it into the side of the laptop. And run the cable to the monitor and match it up and insert it into the back. As you can see, the monitor is connected and it's mirrored to your laptop screen. For the second monitor, we'll plug in the USB-C to HDMI multi-port adapter and plug a second HDMI cable in here and also connect it to the second monitor's HDMI port. From here, you can check that your monitor is set to its native resolution for the sharpest results. You can do this by right-clicking on empty desktop and selecting display settings, or you can search for it too. In display settings, it will display recommended beside the correct choice, and we'll select 2560 by 1440p. You can also go into the NVIDIA or AMD control panel and change it there. It may say native instead of recommended, so choose that option. We can press Windows plus P together to switch between four display modes. PC screen only, the original computer screen is active. Duplicate, the two screens show the same thing. Extent, the two screens act as one large display. Or second screen only, only the external monitor is active. Usually we'll pick Extend to add more working space to our setup. For the next scenario, we have a different laptop that has HDMI, as well as a mini display port out. Use a mini display port to display port cable here. Just plug the mini display port into the laptop and connect the other end to the display port in the back of the monitor. And it's done! So the biggest bonus of hooking up to large screens when you get home is more working area. Perfect if you need to view many programs at the same time. Here are some setup scenarios to match your needs. With a single monitor, you can do gaming on the extra monitor using Extend and stream and chat with a laptop. Dual monitors for gaming and chat. These MSI Optics MAG monitors have a 2mm super narrow bezel, perfect for a gaming and chat setup. So we have the first monitor set to mirrored and extended the second monitor. Or you could use all three for one huge display using extend modes on both monitors we plugged in. If your laptop is older and has a DVI connector, you can grab a DVI-D male to HDMI female adapter or wire. And don't worry, if you're not rocking the latest laptop, you can still connect one monitor, maybe even two. If you have USB 3.0, there are USB to HDMI adapters, which support 1080p displays. Note that it must be an adapter, not just a wire. HDMI or display port out to your monitor is easy enough. So here's a quick rundown of laptop video out possibilities. A Thunderbolt USB-C port to a display port or HDMI adapter. A mini display port to a display port cable. 
an active type DisplayPort to HDMI adapter. For older connections, DVI-D to HDMI or HDMI to DVI is the only connector which is reversible, but it supports 1080p. And DVI doesn't carry audio, which HDMI does. On to our gaming OSD 2.0 interface. Choosing MSI monitors, you can control functions directly from Gaming OSD when you have the monitor's USB cable connected. Just grab the software from the product page and install it. Launch the app and proceed to customize your display. New in Gaming OSD 2.0 is a split window feature where you can pick which monitor you want to control. Great for configuring your support screen while you've got a game running full screen on the other. Pick your monitor from the drop down menu, then you can click on Opened Windows to assign them a number. Choose your layout and then click Apply. Boom, done. When you're all done, you can sit back and enjoy all your new space. With a wide variety of inexpensive displays up to full gaming monitors, it's easy to expand your workspace and make multitasking easy and accessible. Just check your laptop first and you too can benefit from the extra room with an adapter and a couple of cables. Now we want to know, are you considering a multi-monitor setup? What kind of arrangement works for your productivity or gaming? Please let us know how it went for you in the comments and let us know of any ideas you have for upcoming episodes. If this guide helped you or you learned something, don't be shy to hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to MSI's gaming channel. Thanks for joining us today and see you all in the next episode.